Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 15, NASDAQ up 17, S&P's up 5, gold contract up $10, trading at 1,209 an ounce. Silver flat at $16.38 an ounce. Platinum up nine bucks at $1,225 an ounce. Copper off two pennies at 288 a pound. Light sweet crude up 44 cents at $67.32 a barrel. Bonds, you have the 10 year down two ticks, 126.09, 30 up seven at 141.09. And King Dollar, check this out, folks. King Dollar is up 324 ticks, 89.25. That has been trying to test the on the continuous contract 88.88 uh, for a full month. Uh, bottom line is up at those levels right now. Uh, we'll uh, bisect and dissect that as soon as we uh, do the euro and the yen. Euro uh, down 72 ticks at 123.11. Yen up 57 at 119.78. Our phone number is 877 927 6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? You're up uh, 530. You're at 2071. And the high that was generated last Friday uh, is that uh, 2075. We've hit 72. Bottom line, more than likely, you're going to see that baby get hit. Dow Industrials, we take a look at the Dow. Dow Industrials have uh, got to another high. Uh, you, ha we have hit 17,905 today. The high of yesterday was uh, 897. Right now, you're laying out there at 896. Now, inside the Dow Industrials, which is moving it higher, is you have Caterpillar. Caterpillar is up uh, dollar 44. GE is up uh, 36 cents. United Technologies 143. United Healthcare 163. Taking points away from the Dow, even though it's up. You have Walmart down a buck twelve. American Express is off a dollar sixty nine. Coca Cola sixty six, and Procter and Gamble one twenty four. We go take a look at the Nasdaq Composite. Nasdaq Composite up eighteen bucks. Nasdaq Composite is trading out at four seven seven four. And the high of the downdraft, uh, well, the downdraft uh, as we came down on Tuesday was four seven eight two. Uh, we haven't hit that yet. We'll see whether we can get up to that level. If we go back to the S&P just for a second, we'll use the SPY as your correlation. The SPY today is doing 46 million shares, and you're going into 103 million shares as well as 142 million shares. Juice is not there. That, the NDX 100, you take a look at the three Qs. The Qs out here today are doing 21 million shares versus the 35 million. Gold contract. So let's go over to gold. Now, this is going to be a trip, folks. So not that gold is up a huge amount today, okay? But what you do have is this. Uh, gold contract out here, we are up $9.70. You have 130,000 contracts traded. Uh, that is with the, on Monday, that's when gold rejected lower price went topside, took out a swing point with volume. Monster volume, 342,000 contracts. Bottom line, gold is building cars right here to get up into the 256. I expect what you're gonna see here is actually 341. That's the way it's set up. The thing that's so bizarre, folks, is this. Now, I'm gonna go right from gold to the dollar. So we go over to the dollar, and the correlation, no, no doubt, between the dollar and gold is direct, DXH5. So what do we, dollar index today, up some good numbers, 314 ticks. You're doing 7,700 contracts, which is, which is decent for the dollar index. We take a look at this and we put this on a continuous contract. And what you have on a continuous contract, we've hit, we've hit 89.06. Okay, so we bring this back. Now this is what gold has been, I mean the dollar has been trying to do. And we've been on this run in the dollar the dollar has gone higher. This is the seventh month. The dollar came off the low in May, May 30th. Uh, dollar was uh, trading at 78. Now you're at 88.99. You have two 
you have a swing point that has been trying to hit. It, it got it today, 88.80. That was from 2010. There's three other swing points up here, and you know we'll see whether it's going to basically go after those. The highest one, without going all the way back to 2005, would be 89.71. And right now, we had hit the 89 number. Now, the correlation with the dollar going higher and gold not getting smoked, a, a few of the other commodities uh, are down, no doubt. You get natural gas down a uh, percent and a half, lean hogs are off 2%, aluminum 2%. Sugar, nine-tenths. But what you don't have is you don't have these metals getting hit. That's telling me that the dollar is topping out. That's how this is, and which would totally make sense. It, meaning top out, um, you can have just a normal correction. Uh, bottom line, though, that's the way this is set up right now. We go take a look at the bond market. You go take a look at the 10-year first. What we have with the 10-year, 10-year is trading. T this is so wild because what's happens now, folks, is that all the future contracts are 2015. So you got to get used to putting a uh, a five after all of these, which is pretty wild. It's 2015 is coming at us. So 10 year we're at 126.09 today. Light volume, extraordinary light volume, by the way. Uh, we're going into volume of 1.9 million contracts, and thus far, the 10 years only done 1 million contracts. We take a look at the 30 year, what we have with the 30 year contract. 30 year contract right now is trading out at 141.09, and that has rejected lower price. And, you know, the thing that's so cool about the 30 year, folks, is that the 30 year leads the 10. Um, you know, it, it did get to a lower low today, so if we even take that lower low, which is 140.26, volume there was 267,000, you're going into 685,000. Bottom line, 10 year, 30 year, bonds want higher price. Right now, the yield on the 10 year is 2.2. .2. So you're still talking uh, 30 year mortgages uh, running out about 3.95, maybe 4%. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Let's go take a look at the oil market, what we have with oil out here. Oil is trading flat. She's up 42 cents, but it's really flat, 67.30, and uh, let's flat with light volume. So she's not pushing down, she's not pushing up. What is amazing, folks, is this, is that, check this out. Now, this price of oil that I, I'm just giving you, okay, that, that's basically crude oil, uh, NYMEX crude, okay, um, this is uh, what you have in the oil market in general, if you want to hear something that's really wild, is that in the Balkan Shield, uh, bottom line, at the wellhead, um, oil is under $50. It's sub $50 in North Dakota, uh, as well as uh, Colorado. So, uh, Crude oil sold at the wellhead in the Balkan Shale region in North Dakota fell to $49.69, uh, oh, actually three days ago, according to the marketing arm of All America Pipeline LP. That's down 47% from this year's peak and 29% then, and 29% less than the $70.15 paid for Brent. The cheaper price of uh, North Dakota crude underscores how geographic and uh, Logistical hurdles can amplify the stress that plunging future prices have put on the drillers uh, in the new shale plays that have helped push U.S. oil production to the highest in 31 years. Uh, bottom line is that you, uh, oil's great, folks, okay? It's a big bathtub, no doubt. Uh, but what does happen is that you have to get it out of the wellhead and you have to get it to uh, the wholesale and our retail clients. And uh, I suspect what you're going to see... Uh, at the bulk, and that, that's going to go down even further. Some of the uh, high volume stocks we take a look at out here in this low volume market, we have uh, Kinder, uh, let's see, Kinder Morgan's up uh, 22 cents, Apple's up $1.23, we have uh, GE up 37. Let's go over and we take a look at, oh, check this out. Um, this, is, this is just pretty amazing. Um, Google. So, what you have with Google is this. Uh, Google you know, has a high volume low out here. Um, we're at 531. Google wants to you know, run down to this uh, 508. Uh, but one of the founders, uh, it's not that they're pushing a lot of stock out in comparison to what they have. But they've sold 500,000 shares, 800,000 shares, I think. 800, yeah, 800,000 shares in the last two weeks, which is half.
half billion dollars. We'll talk about that as soon as we come back. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.